Hey guys, Mr. Binkley here. Today we're going to take a look at dividing decimals, okay? Um, just want to make sure everyone's clear on exactly what to do with dividing decimals. So I'm going to just give an example problem here right on my whiteboard. So why don't you just go ahead and follow along and uh, make sure that you understand exactly each step that I take here. So we're going to take a look at the problem right here. I'm going to do point four nine two divided by point four okay so right there's our problem all right let's take a look at this problem now we cannot divide by a decimal ever okay we want to get rid of that decimal we want a whole number so the first thing we do is move that decimal over to the right okay one place value that's going to give us our new whole number of four now okay now, whatever we do on the left side of our house for dividing, we have to do on the right side of our house, okay? So we're going to move that decimal over to the right, and now our new number on the inside of the house will become 4.92. Now we're ready to just divide, okay? Now we can divide. I'll even erase this one, this top problem. Get it completely out of the way. All right, now with our problem here. 4.92 divided by 4. 4 goes into 4 one time. So we multiply, get 4, subtract, 0, bring down our 9. Okay, we've got to bring down our 9. 4 goes into 9 how many times? Twice. Now, before I go any further, you must remember, you take the decimal in the house bring it straight up into your answer. You always bring the decimal straight up into your answer. Okay, now, twice, two times four is eight. Subtract that, and you get one. Now we have to bring down our two, okay? And four goes into 12 how many times? Three times, three times four is 12. If I were to subtract those, we would get zero and since we have zero we're all done we have to do that process until we get zero as a remainder if I didn't get zero as my remainder the first thing that I would want to do is add a zero here and just keep going until I lose that remainder okay thanks for joining me with the division lesson for how to divide decimals I hope that helps you out